Well, good morning. Um, I am out here. It's, it's not, really, not really morning. It's 8 o'clock or something. I know. I'm not trying to be sarcastic. It's just it's already muggy and the freshness is worn off. All the animals are doing their thing. Um, there's a chicken house. I'm going to get some chickens in there. and I think they'll clean it up. I've looked around it and it looks pretty sound. Like there's no place for chickens to get out. However, there might be places for a varmint to get in. Anyway, I think it was a dog kennel. He, that's what he was using it for. Might have originally been a chicken house, but these are dog kennels. Or chicken. I think maybe they were gamecocks at one point, maybe too. I'm not sure. Anyway, this is stuff. This is I brush hogged this last year. And I've been mowing it. I haven't had, um, it's been a lot to mow, so I haven't been keeping up with this because it hasn't grown that great. However, if I'd mowed a little uh, more often, I'd probably have more grass than I do. Uh, what is that? Whatever those things are. Um, I don't see poison ivy. Usually it's poison ivy just all over the place. So that's good. There's Virginia creeper. Usually you see that, you see poison ivy. And then this looks like it might be poison hemlock. But I'm not sure about that. I don't know what that looks like exactly. That's a vine anyway. It could be something else, trumpet vine or something. Pulled a bunch of trumpet vine, or I cut a bunch of trumpet vine and it died on the barn over there, the antique barn. And, uh, Anyway, so I brush hog back in here a little bit last year, or I mowed where I could, and then I brush hog this year, and then I, I don't know if I've been through here with a mower or not, but I've widened all this out this, you know, about a month ago or, or so, did all that back in there with the brush hog. Um, and uh, you can see how that tree is pushed, pushed over. And uh, some other trees are pushed over. I've got them. Oh, that one's been cut. Um, I need to come in here and cut a bunch more. <sighs> got the backhoe or the tractor in here. I think I couldn't get turned around, so I cut some things off. That's that's what that is. And then there's a place like a swath. I came through the briars over there. And there's more here that I've done. See, this is camping. This could be camping area. Got to keep it mowed, and I got to go through here and pick up all these small uh, stuff. I think this might be, I don't know, I think it's wild roses. There goes a leopard frog. I think that's wild roses. But I, the, I was saving the blackberries. I don't know which is which now because they are. Um, the blooms are off, so I don't know. So I don't know if that's rose hips or those are blackberries. But they look like maybe rose hips, which are also good for you. So, and then I, you know, I got wild lettuce, and there's some other wild stuff like that. And then there's dock or curly dock. And I think this is bull thistle. I don't know if it's any good. I think maybe it uh, can be poisonous. Uh, maybe if you eat the roots or something. I don't remember. It seems like if you eat the roots, they're good for you. If the rest of it might be poisonous or vice versa. But it's not milk thistle, which is good for you, and, which I wouldn't know how to refine it anyway. I don't know much about refining anything. I'm trying to retain that. Or, you know, right now I want to find some reishi mushrooms. They're supposed to be the immortality mushroom. And I think I've seen some down here at the river. Or had seen them. Look at that. Here's a boy. A big old boy. He's a big one. Pretty. Pretty. 